Okay, this is uh, part two of our little mini series on home automation. Um, the previous um, chapter, I showed you the uh, the equipment that we've got and a quick little run through of each uh, of each sensor and uh, component. And um, today we're going to look at uh, one of those specifically uh, and do a quick unboxing video. So um, this unboxing video is about the uh, AirTech by Aeon Labs, uh, the Z Stick Series Two. Um, so this is how it arrives. It's about 40 quid um, if you buy it from the UK. And um, let's uh, get it open and have a look. So here we go. Not much inside other than literally the Z stick itself. And uh, I think there's some yeah, there's some instructions um, as well in there. So uh, let's have a look at the stick itself. Um, it's quite a tiny little thing, um, just like any USB flash dongle, uh, really, that you would expect. Um, this is the, uh, the Series 2 one. Now, what's special about the Series 2 is that um, there's some been some, some major enhancements and improvements along the way, but uh, the best thing about it is this button here. Um, so, the manual basically tells you uh, what that button's for and um, really you can see um, from it that this is why I think this, uh, this little device is quite uh, becoming quite a standard for Z-Wave home automation. Um, reason is, um, when you're doing your home automation uh, and everything's running normally, this of course will be plugged into your uh, controller. So in my case, that's a Mac Mini. Um, but if I want to attach a new Z-Wave device, say another room sensor, um, all I do is whip this out of the uh, MacBook, go towards my sensor, so that's on the wall somewhere already attached, and I click this button here. It's battery powered, and that means that now this um, AirTech uh, Z Stick 2 is actually in uh, inclusion mode or add mode, and it's ready to receive the signals to pair it with the uh, motion sensor or whatever other Z Wave device I have. So if I have the device here, I would just put it within about a foot of the device, click this button when it's flashing, it's ready to include, and then I get my sensor, click the button on the sensor. When it's included, this blue flashing light will flash very quickly for a second or two, and then stop flashing. I could then walk around the house and go add more and more and more devices, and um, when I'm finished, I just um, click off like that, it stops flashing pop it back into my USB drive on the Mac Mini and all the devices that I've gone around the home and added will then be listed um, just included so that they're paired with, um, with this device. So really easy to pair devices, it couldn't be any simpler um, really and um, we've tried it out for a couple of weeks uh, with various different devices and it just performs flawlessly. It's instantly recognised by the software totally reliable and uh, yeah really good bit of kit so uh, the manual if you didn't quite get what I was uh, what I was explaining there the manual here just goes through the three uh, basic steps uh, I'm here to turn the light on include the, uh, the device that you want and then turn the light off and uh, really that's it so um, yeah really recommend this, uh, this piece of uh, this piece of kit Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll pop over to our Mac Mini and uh, I'll include a few um, Z-Wave devices to show you and then uh, you can see um, how easy it is just to connect and then to um, see the devices that you've, uh, that you've paired up. Okay, so here we are down in my, uh, in my living room. Um, I've got my Mac Mini here um, all connected up. Uh, to the TV and uh, a little Apple TV at the side, but we don't need that. So it's basically just a Mac Mini. Um, what I'm going to do is connect the, uh, the Z Stick Series 2 uh, to the Mac Mini. Now, rather than fiddle around the back and connect it directly into the USB ports, um, our advice um, says to um, put a little uh, cable, USB extender. This is a USB hub in this situation. Um, just coming out of the back of the Mac Mini USB port and then we're going to connect uh, into that instead. Uh, two reasons for that, it's a damn sight easier than uh, getting around the back, but the second reason is that 
This is wireless technology. So um, if for some reason back there there's an electrical interference or some blockage with the signal, at least um, on this cable, we can move it round uh, and try and get a better signal. To be honest, uh, mine sure has been here and it's been fine all around the house, but um, there you go. Um, various people have tested this with different hubs and it seems to work okay. Um, so um, all we do is just insert that into the uh, USB hub and you can see the blue LED comes on with a constant light and that is now ready to go. So we'll have a look at that uh, in the software. Okay, so uh, we're back at the Mac now and um, you can see here that I've got some software installed. Now this software uh, we're trying out here at today's Top Tech and it's called Indigo 6. I think it's in beta version at the moment, the version 6. Uh, and it's by a company called Perceptive Automation in America. So uh, we're trying that out now. So um, we've got, as you've seen, the registration um, uh, reminder up here um, because we've not yet bought the full version. We're just trying it out, but you get a really uh, decent tryout period of, uh, of 40 days. So if I just click no to that, um, here's the, uh, the, uh, the software in its sort of raw format. But uh, just a really quick intro into Indigo, we found that if you just click new database and you name the database whatever you want um, and it'll save in, uh, in location there automatically. Um, I've just created one called Test House uh, and, and there you go, you get started. So first thing we need to do is look for the um, Z-Stick, uh, the Z-Stick 2, which was inserted into the USB port. So if you create new when you've got a device selected here, um, this new device type um, screen comes up and in there we can select uh, Z-Wave. So what it does is it says it's going to try and uh, synchronize the Z-Wave device and um, if you've paired your devices properly uh, what will happen is when you refresh this list is that all the devices that you paired on to the Z-Wave stick uh, as you were walking around the house will appear um, in this list. So basically the computer Indigo is looking on the Z-Wave stick now that you've inserted, having a look for what devices you've paired and um, it's, uh, it, it's seen there that I've paired four devices. So all I'm going to do there is select one of them, that's a power switch that connects into the uh, electrical socket and I'm going to click sync and it's synchronized up there pretty quickly and um, there we go. It's realized it's a motion power switch, I can give it a name. Um, and it's a Z-Wave type and it's given an address uh, registration of 2. So that's it now. Um, that device is now synchronized with the software, with the Mac uh, and I can um, control therefore that power switch just using the, the various bits of uh, software and uh, um, turn it on and off basically with this device. Um, so. That is as simple as it gets. Um, you may have to um, enable your um, Z-Wave uh, interface if you've not already done that um, before you start. And there's a few uh, config um, areas here, which um, the software that I'm particular that I'm using um, tells you how to do anyway. So there you go. That's the uh, Z-Wave um, Z stick. And uh, if you go to vestanet.com, uh, you'll find that um, the Z-Wave stick is available in the Z-Wave section. Uh, you'll find it under controllers, uh, which is on here. And um, um, the Aeon Labs uh, by Airtech um, Z-Stick. So it's £41 at the moment, um, £11 off from uh, vestanet.com. Um, they do next day delivery if you're in the UK and uh, we found them to be really reliable. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you want to pop over to our website, todaystoptech.com, we've got more information about uh, the Z-Wave Home Automation series and we'll be posting blogs on there fairly regularly, introducing some more of the kits such as sensors and light switches, how to control email triggers and various stuff from your Mac using the Indigo software. Uh, you can follow us at Today's Top Tech on Twitter and you can subscribe on our YouTube channel. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.